endured. You just need to persevere a little bit more. It's not going to be easy to make the changes necessary. But what we are going through today is saving for greatness tomorrow. Things that we cannot afford we cannot engage in. We can't afford the subsidy. It is clear. It's meant for just a few elites. It's not beneficial to the generality and the greatest number of the people in this country. I beg you to spread your understanding. Talk to your parents, uncles, and relatives that this president cares. Cares dearly for the economic benefit and welfare of this country. It is very difficult for people. Yes, I understand. I feel your pains. I feel their pains. But we have to go through this. For us to survive the economic downturn. Nigeria will see positive changes as we move along. Just go through these baby steps of pain. Baby step of pain. Me too, I'm taking baby steps as the president. Not marching in a hurry. Be ready. I mean, I don't know what is going on in the minds of majority of Nigerians, some of those who voted your party, yes. maybe they didn't envisage this level of pain. But the, the level and the manner in which things have gone in the past weeks, do you think for a moment that some of your support base are or perhaps having a rethink about their support for your party and for your candidates? <laughs> that is your views. No, I'm asking no, no, a no, question. No, no, no. I'm asking a question. <laughs> yeah, you're asking a question, yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, nobody who wishes to make who promise you a pair of suit if elected and he have yet have access to the fabric will upon election just deliver you a pair of suit unless it is custom made and in which case he has all your details Fabric is ready. He has actually prepared it. The only point I want to make here, I've, I've had people saying, uh, what would 8,000 do? What would 10,000 do? Well, if you earn so much, you may not know the value of 8,000 or 10,000. For those who are, uh, who are completely socially excluded, 10,000 is a lot. So there's nothing wrong with it. Ah. My, my, my question initially <laughs> is the worry of those who impose their trust <laughs> in the Tunubu ticket. Who thought that when Tunubu gets into They know office, they were not electing a, mag a magician. You did not tell them you are not No, no, no. They know they are not electing a magician. Your party and nobody promised agenda. Nobody promised no, no, magical no, no. solution. Yeah, your party said you have renewed hope. Let me give you an example of and things no, that have happened. Give me an example. I, I give know, you an example. I know what we told you that that more than you who was reporting it. I am Whatever on the you reported yeah. was, we were the source. Yeah, but the fact we did, no, that we did not you, promise 24 you, hours you of remember, You remember? We did not promise military school. Fact we are. What Nigeria needs is what President Buhari, uh, sorry, and <laughs> the has demonstrated. The courage to make decision, to, to be humble enough to admit some of the unintended consequences of those decisions and the will 
to deal with those consequences. Since that policy decision has been made, yeah. how long more will Nigerians have to wait? That's the question. The patients that they are asking for, there are a lot of people's lives who live on a daily living and earning. Are you sure you can let you know about I can let you know about that. I am I mean, it's not about that to me. Yeah, I mean, we are having, regardless of how you introduce me. We are having a conversation. Yeah, yeah. They're having a conversation <laughs> about the point of the average Nigerian. Yeah. And your party promised that you are going to change things. But I get what I tell you. Say Jagabana, Jagaban go pay more. Say you are not looking for people who no go pay. For money, I tell you in time, say for money, Jagaban go dead here. And the thing don't happen. But the problem now is that they suffer all they go through now. Like now. After you collect money now, you they suffer? Yes. After, no, after I collect money, you suffer down. <laughs> because from where they from come out now, OB. Before they put OB now, 300. The money don't finish. The money don't finish. Nothing come out again. Why? The money don't finish now. How much money I collect? Some more money where they share. Well, Jagaman try share. But that's how much money they have. Small dollars, the way they all give up. We change that. They think come out 70,000. Your money job. But now, who they suffer now? Who they cry, I bet my Nigeria do something. So next time you will still collect money for Nigeria? Uh, my brother, I don't repent. Anything concerning the issue of money this time around, I don't go collect again. I don't go collect again. So tell us your experience. How does it feel right now to live in Nigeria? No, my brother, I feel very bad. Nigeria is turning upside down this time around. No joy. No joy at all. Nothing is moving. Nothing is moving. Nothing is. This morning, before I come out, I know how much I spent. First, now I'm be waiting at the vest. What do you say that man go do well? Based on the when you run as a governor in in Lagos, the man do well. Now the the way I see him now, no go fit try you because you never you never reach this small things don't turn upside down like this. Now when you go reach one year, now go good. Just watch as you did now. Watch me now. Just watch me. Even Buhari when Buhari they rule are fat, but this time I mean nothing Jagaban enter. You just be like say then less my fat. My brother, I collect dollar, but that dollar no reach anywhere. You know reach anywhere. You know say. I get one thing where they tell us, if they give us money, we go collect them. Say now our money. I am a citizen of this country, so if they give us money, I go collect them, my money. So the only time I want to collect that time, I'll be my own. I said dollar don't go up now. I think you'll, you'll see they spend the dollar. No, dollar don't end since now. Money won't spend, money won't give me since the election. You know, you won't give Nigeria now for my next election. Uh, my brother, the way I see him now, coming election, uh, next election. I got advice every citizen of this country. I beg. Live bribe. Live bribe. Yes, bribe no good. Don't sell your vote. No sell your vote. It's not going to get better. It's so jackpot. Is that true? Let me tell you. Yes. It's, it's sweet. Nigeria is sweet, man. Yeah, Nigeria is very, very sweet. You are, are you not seeing that the country is sweet? It's sweet, yeah. How are you feeling the country? What are you enjoying? Tell us your experience. A lot of things, my dear. <laughs> to me, I don't have problem. Okay. But some people have problem. You understand? You see what happens in the court last time? Yes. yes. Uh, a Mephile case. A case. And uh, because they refuse to say the truth, that is why we are having, in the case of Ndamdekalo, the way it reaches Ndamdekalo, it will reach every each one of them. You see, all these are our leaders. Already Ndamdekalo told them, go and serve and come back with shame. And they are all coming back with shame. You understand? Uh, a lot of the drugs are happy with what is currently going on with the CBN government. Because uh, what the, the cash crunch that they went to, that the man has no sympathy during. So it's also experiencing, it's like a karma. Uh, 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 let me tell you, I'm the happiest person. Because there is no day I don't buy money. Yes. I buy 10,000 for 14,000. Throughout that, because without that, I cannot make, I cannot, I can't. In fact, I can't do anything. You know, my movement, my feeding. So they serve him better. I wish you will even get what is greater than what is passing through now. I think I'll be the happiest person. So tell us your experience to live in Nigeria right now. The experience we are seeing in Nigeria is that, you know, sometimes I told you that when the rain is falling, it's not on one person's roof. What they voted is what, you see, what they bargained is what they are seeing. But I never bargained for this. That is why I must be exempted. So what are your expectations? Uh, my expectations are let them do the right thing. Let them give Obi. Obi is the person we know. Thank you so much for your time. Feel to live in Nigeria right now, sir. Anyway, Nigeria, uh, uh, 
We don't live for Nigeria by the grace of God. We, we, we live Nigeria by the grace of God because Nigeria don't jaga jaga. Nigeria don't jaga jaga. So tell people don't kill us. Nigeria don't kill us now. Only the only uh, two weeks it just enter. Everything scatter. Eh? First of city. Don't just scatter everything. Nothing is moving well again in Nigeria. So we are suffering now. So most of people now are trekking because of uh, fuel. Uh, the fuel is too cost. As an artist, a work man, a work man, what is your experience as a mechanic? As plan now that, that, that uh, let God make let everything come down. But uh, if not able, nothing can, can come down. But only the, by the grace of God will make everything come down. So I will begin the work. The work. So Tinubu will not work anything. You know, if you work anything, it's, it's, an, it's an old man. Uh, he's an old man. So. The sense now is uh, just like small making sense. Mm. Uh -huh. So we need some people like OB that make everything the day normal. So what about the 8,000 palliative way federal government won't dispose to mitigate the effect of we this poison? We don't need them. We don't need them. We don't need them. How many people will give them? How many people will collect them? How many people? We don't need them. We don't need them. How many people? Uh -huh. yes. Thank you.